Hey everyone, it is Danny and welcome to this video this morning. I hope you're doing really great and we're going to be taking a look at all that is happening across the Atlantic Basin. So we've got our active tropical cyclones out there. We've got Lee as well as Margo and then another developing system which is likely to become a depression by this weekend. And before I go into details, please do subscribe if you haven't yet done so and tap the bell so that you never miss an important update. Okay, so we're going to get things kick started looking at the Caribbean and here we can see at a close up view that there isn't much happening across the region. Maybe the most begin some overcast conditions, maybe even some passing showers across some islands, but for most areas it should be a rather sunny morning. We see a bit of activity over in uh, parts of Central America, especially closer to the Pacific coast of the different territories. But overall, nothing much, nothing crazy happening across the region. Same story as we head up into the Bahamas and the Turks and Caicos Islands. Now, as it relates to rainfall activity through today, slight chance of rainfall for the northern islands. So there might be some afternoon showers popping up due to that daytime heating. So uh, that is a possibility, and we see that it is a lot greater over in parts of Central and Northern South America, especially for Colombia. So as we head into this afternoon, there's likely to be some shower and thunderstorm activity uh, within these areas here, and things get drier heading to Guyana, Suriname, and French Guiana. I have been seeing the comments from you guys it has been hot for sure and uh, unfortunately it's not going to be letting up as we head through today at least for most of us and so going on to our active systems out there now we're starting out with hurricane lee there we can see the hurricane and it is approaching bermuda so not directly it's going to be passing to the west of the island but it will be close enough to induce those tropical storm conditions which should begin very very soon if they haven't begun already so the island remains under a tropical storm warning and Lee is going to continue to gradually weaken as it accelerates further up north, increasing in latitude, thus meeting cooler waters out there. So it will no longer have those very warm waters to sustain itself as a hurricane. And eventually, as we head into Saturday afternoon, it is likely to be downgraded to a tropical storm, but could be strong enough to the point where hurricane force winds are felt in parts of Nova Scotia. So we see that hurricane watch extended from parts of Maine over to Nova Scotia and New Brunswick as well. So those hurricane conditions, those hurricane force winds, uh, the heavy rainfall, the storm surge are all likely as we're going to be heading into the this weekend and notice these uh, areas that are highlighted in a tropical storm watch way outside the cone so just as I have been emphasizing in previous updates the cone is to track the storms center not the size and Lee is going to be a pretty sizable system at the time of its approach so those tropical storm conditions are likely to extend into parts of New England and so guys, please do not take any unnecessary risks. If you're under that tropical storm or hurricane watch, please uh, listen to your local officials because we're talking about an impending dangerous situation as we head into this weekend. But currently it is a Cat 2 hurricane moving to the north at nine miles per hour. And uh, as I said, it's going to continue to gradually weaken as it approaches those less favorable conditions. And I also want to bring you guys to this map here. This is is a seven day change anomaly map of the sea surface temperatures and the cooler colors those shades of blues indicate below average surface temperatures and so here we can see this area here this is all caused by Lee upwelling from the cyclone so it is there absorbing all of that energy taking advantage of it and remember it was never a fast moving cyclone so because of that it actually exhausted some of the heat content from the ocean and what we see now is these below average temperatures because cooler waters from further beneath the surface has made its way up so that is what upwelling is so we see that uh, Lee is leaving its mark out there and then overall though it is still very warm because as we go on to the actual sea surface temperature map here we can see very warm waters out there 30 31 degrees in the Gulf Caribbean around the Bahamas so still very warm still uh, very supportive for development in the 
basin and so let's now go ahead and talk about Margot. so Margot was lingering by herself out there she has weakened a bit winds are down to 75 miles per hour and it's going to continue lingering out there for some time not being a problem for anyone and let's go on to this dry air map so here you can see our two cyclones up there and across most of the main development region especially the central and western parts of the main development region heading more to the Caribbean we're not seeing where the dry air is much of an issue Issue. So we've got our disturbance within that area and it is going to be in a generally conducive environment to gradually strengthen out there. And so across the Caribbean though for some areas we can see that there is some dry air moving through and it has been rather hot and dry for most of us. So let's now go on to our disturbance. Here we can see it on the 7 day graphical tropical weather outlook. We can see that it is given that high 90% chance of development through the next 7 days. The formation chance through the next 48 hours is at a high 80%. 80% chance. So by this weekend, there's a pretty good likelihood that this will become our next tropical depression and eventually next name storm, acquiring the name Nigel. And then as it relates to the update for the model track and intensity guidance, let's go on to intensity guidance first. So as these tracks go further up, that is an increase in intensity. There we have the different categories and we can see that a couple of these models want to take the system up to major hurricane status, which is CAT 3 to 5. So CAT three four five major hurricane status but overall most models are expecting that it will eventually intensify into a hurricane all models expect this to become a tropical storm as well as we go on to the model track guidance we can see that there isn't a big change compared to yesterday that general northwestward track expected it's going to be moving west for maybe another day or so or less than that and then eventually making that general northwestward motion across the main development region and out into the atlantic and it could potentially pose a threat to land so let's go ahead and take a look at what some models have to show we're starting out with the icon there we have the time out there this is uh, about a week from now, Thursday, the 21st of the month. So the island of Bermuda is right there. And there you can see the system with a pressure of 953 millibars. A definite major hurricane uh, at this point here that the icon is expecting. Also another system developing out there off of Africa. And models have been hinting at that one for some time now. CMC, Canadian models showing something very much similar. This very close approach to Bermuda. But we see a weaker system. So the higher this pressure is, the weaker the system. So the lower the pressure is, the stronger. If it gets higher, it's getting weaker. And then that next storm developing well to the west of the Cabo Verde Islands. As we head on to the Euro model, here we see something similar yet again. The system will pass into the west of the island. There we see a pressure of 966 millibars. And then that next system developing out there. And then the GFS model is also showing that we will see something similar pressure here. 964 millibars, slightly stronger and close to Bermuda. So the general trend with these models is that the system is going to be passing very close, potentially being a major issue for Bermuda as we head into next week. Now, note that we're still talking about over a week from now. So there are bound to be some changes and adjustments to the track of the system. And as we are going to be heading into the early part of next week, there should be a solid idea of what is ahead. But then as we take a look at the satellite imagery, here we can see that it is producing some more shower and thunderstorm activity. So it's trying to really get itself together out there. However, we do not have a defined system just yet, and it remains pretty disheveled. But it should gradually continue to uh, improve itself, and eventually we are likely to see that tropical depression forming this weekend, potentially a tropical storm if it is really determined to get itself together out there and so guys i'll continue to keep you posted as time goes by and that is pretty much it for this update and i hope you found it to be quite informative but if you have any questions please leave them in the comments i'll respond to you once i get the chance to do so and as always remember to both wise